Welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video. Another Von Romane today. It is Domaine Segan Manuel, a vineyard called Eau Commune. Perhaps I can be showing you a map on screen. So it is a bit late in the day to be starting today. Sunset is probably only 20 minutes or so from now. Well, as always, the lighting is never consistent. I'm just gonna say that's somewhere roughly in the middle. <laughs> not hugely dark, not particularly light. It's one of those cherry-like aromas where it's gone slightly boozy. This is only, did I say it's a 2018 vintage? It's not particularly old getting on for six years, I suppose. There's a little bit more of a kind of cherry liqueur-like profile to that cherry on the nose. It's all a little bit subtle. I'm not exactly getting an intense fruit bowl from the word go there. That's probably something slightly floral in there as well. Shall I say rose for a change? <laughs> all seems to end up violet, doesn't it? I want to find violet. I love the smell of violet. So again, that's cherry character on the palette. A little bit suppressed, not getting a huge amount of character. I mean, it's pleasant and quite drinkable. There aren't any sort of weird aromas or tastes there. A little bit of a slight tannic abrasion towards the end. I can feel that on the edges of my tongue there. It has a slightly savoury quality. There is perhaps a hint of spice and or maybe licorice there. I get the sense this needs airing. Why don't I stop wasting my time trying to dig for fruit that doesn't seem to quite want to come out yet? Sit here for 10 minutes, swill it around a bit, and uh, I'll come back to you. Look at that lovely array of plate fungus there. Right, I've given it a few minutes, and I think I've acclimatised to this now, and I think I've figured out what's going on. I've had wines like this before, and I do actually like it. I know it was sounding a little bit underwhelming a minute ago, but it is, the cherry character is, like I say, it's sort of liqueur-y, but I do like that style. And it's a little bit more, perhaps, sour cherry, so it's like that sort of maraschino liqueur. Which I'm convinced is maraschino rather than maraschino. CHs always do the opposite, or CIs always do the opposite in Italian of what you think they're going to do. And it has a really nice acidity, probably consistent with that sour cherry type profile. And there are kind of peppery edges. But I actually quite like that. It took me a little while to sort of understand what was going on. I like the weight, I like the acidity, quite like the mouthfeel. There's a little bit of tannin or something, or spice or tobacco or licorice as I was saying some sort of edge like that to it. Sky's getting at least a little bit more interesting over there. There's no way this is going to be a patch on my previous video that was a particularly impressive sunset and it's just far too cloudy but at least the wind is kind of moving it all along. The uh, sky's improving look and I think the wine is improving as well. One thing I've been impressed by with this pair of Vaughan Romanets, the previous video was also a Vaughan Romanet, they're from 2018 and there is absolutely no sign of jamminess. That's always my concern with 2018 is that it was a hot year, the, uh, the fruit's going to be sort of cooked, it's going to be too sugary, acidity will have fallen away or be lacking in the first place. I don't know if I've just been lucky twice in a row. A little bit of sweetness is now developing, which, which I think is good. It needed it a little bit. It was all a little bit too sour cherry and now it's morphing more into just regular cherry. Tasting fresher as well, it's tasting less liqueur and more like fresh fruit. And that's all melding together much better. It's a very, very cherry. We're going through the whole spectrum of cherry here today. And I'm not complaining. I like all of those different nuances of cherry. And it's really nice to see how this is developing from that, um, that shy start to something now which is a lot sort of richer and, and fuller and fresher, fruitier. I was definitely having some um, misgivings with the first class, but now this is pretty good. 